Welcome back. back. We're the Bourbon Yankees. Um, Corona. Haven't found it yet? Hope not to. Anyways. And tonight. You guys have been asking. And you know what I'm here to do? Deliver. Right. You ever seen the movie Deliverance? It's about me. Was it? I don't know. I've never seen it. I'm never not sure. <laughs> They're raping people in the Whoa, hills. Jeez, and, like, I'm Virginia. not bad. I didn't say which character I was. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to do you're the, collector's you're corner. You're the guy playing the banjo. Uh Collector's Corner will talk about your collections. Your rate, what? Rate your collections. <laughs> Lots of syllables in that word, so. Oh, All right, so. The intro. I'm drinking a little better duel too much. tonight. You're drinking too much. You're drinking far too much. So. Uh, we're going to do a little hey, Collector's Corner. Uh, M10. I don't know what is in frame right now. 2019 M10. So, um, Thank you, Michael. Uh, collector's Corner is something that people always ask for, but it's seemingly like the most work in the world. So, it feels mm -hmm. that way. Um, so, we don't do them as often, but we're here to do one or two. So, four okay. collections, suggesting two bottles each. Yes. A cheap bottle, findable bottle, available bottle, and a splurge bottle. So. that You said three things. Yeah. There's two. Cheap, available, findable is one. Oh. A splurge is the second one. Okay. So, now you know. <laughs> okay. If you were confused, you shouldn't be now. <laughs> um, the first Hopefully collection we're going to get into is Sir Brian Phillips. <sighs> yep. Pictures will be on the screen. You'll see those. Um, but Brian Phillips collection. It's a nice little collection. Got a little bit of everything. I like the the glass shelving, but yeah. it just terrifies me. It like scares me so break. much. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to slam a bottle down. I've had a few pours. I set one down, Today. not so gently. All the time? All the trying bottles to, go to hell. Like, you try to bottle flip one onto a shelf. Yeah. <laughs> like, onto a glass shelf. I'm like, I bet I can land that Elmer T. Lee on that top one. There's a lot of Buffalo Trace in there. There is. There's a lot of Buffalo Trace. And that seems to be a theme because Buffalo Trace is unfortunately delicious. There's some Heaven Hill? Not, not a whole lot of Heaven Hill, though. And not a Got whole one. lot of, yeah. And I saw another one. Oh, I Ezra's mean, not. Ezra's Luxor. Uh, McKenna. Right? McKenna. Yeah. McKenna, Old Forester. Yes. Um, we got uh, barrel proofs. Yep. A couple of Elijah Craig's, a couple of Bell Mead, a couple of Bullet Barrel Strength. Mifters. Would you say as your go to? Like you're your easy to get? Uh, ch cheap enough is Old Forester 1910. So you said. Yeah, both suggested. 1910. We're, now we're doing these separate. We, I, we come right. up with them separate. Now <laughs> that's we're why I wanted to say it. Nope. Um, you're buying 1910 because we both suggested it separately. We sat down separately and both went through this to be like, all right. That's not true. Sean looked at my phone and then wrote down a different answer. So I said the slurgy is the old E. Shared Leader Proof. Okay, I said Stag Jr. So we were different. On He's got one. It's on the top shelf. I, I, I'm, I'm saying a specific batch though. <laughs> okay. This is because Stag Jr. realistically compared to some of the bottles in there, all isn't right. like the most expensive. So you're going to go with, you know, like a pretty personal thing. No, I'm right. All right. No, I'm definitely right about it. Catch 12? Yep. Brian, thank you for sending your collection in, buddy. I'm going to move on. Jeremy Fisher's collection is next. So Let me tell you why. Jeremy Fisher has an interesting setup because he said he lives in a place in which he doesn't ever see allocated bottles, but he sees a lot of store let me, picks. Let me pull this in real quick. So I can be like, uh, green top, green top, green top, green top, green top pick, green top. There are like five Will It Rise in there. So he, and his purple top he mentioned he lives That's a store pick. close to a Barrels and Brews. They knock out some picks. Barrels and Brews opened their second location Ooh. with, I think, 50 store picks. They opened there it with 50. There are so many store picks in that picture. These are almost all store picks. Yeah. It's so, insane. Um, the, the picture, as you're seeing, is, I mean, we're talking Traverse Cities. Now, he does have all the Masters keeps from mm -hmm. Wild Turkey, except the Australian one, unless that's a... K.L. Rye in there, too. Yep. He believes in the law of diminishing returns, starts kicking around 150 to 200. I actually believe it's much lower than that, but yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, I agree. You have a lot of Willets, and those are very expensive, so yeah. I see where your head's at. I think diminishing returns starts So, I'll go first on the, the, the non, or the, the easy one. Yep. I said Rare Breed. <laughs> Idiot, dude. <laughs> what an idiot. They're going to have it on the shelf. Um, Solid whiskey. Does he not? You know? There's not one there. It's a forgiven. 
Yeah. It's in the back corner. Yeah, I saw it. I nice. thought it was a. It's the egg bottle, bro. I know, but the rear rig's really close to the egg bottle. Yeah, it is. Like it's been the cork. Yeah, oh, it's very close. That's a really okay. I'm but actually um, rear rig perfect. I'm bored with that. Yeah, <laughs> mine aren't as good. That annoys me. My first I mean, break, other one's bad. My non splurge is the Larceny Barrel Proof. Ooh. Listen, I'm gonna Did tell you. Did any wieners in there? I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. He's got a lot of high proof stuff. He does. Russell's 110. All those picks are 110. God. All the wheels are barrel proofs. I can do better than that. No, I'm you can't. Trying. Because you're not. Because this is not why. even trying. Because the Larceny Barrel Proof has a nutty, sweet flavor profile. Yeah. What else does? Like Russell's red labels? He's got 50 of those. Yeah. Okay. That seems like the perfect opinion. You just get a new Elijah Craig barrel proof. Is that your? No. Oh, okay. That's not, not my okay. What's your splurge? Uh, you go first. Elijah Craig barrel proof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <That's really> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I win. Oh, because Way higher than because that. the the reason I wrote it was because I again am specifying a batch. Oh, A120 just just hit everywhere. Go ahead, mm. go ahead. Burger Jerry Dry. What? Oh, wow. He said, I don't get a lot of allocated whiskey. And you're like, let me tell you about one of the most He's allocated. got all the mash keys sitting back there. Those are, are those allocated? A little bit. They sit on shelves for years. I mean. Now they're delicious. I don't know why they sit on shelves, but they're delicious. But... I, I just feel like you would enjoy I, it. I, like, I, it's a good. The, the well, amount of willets I saw there, you had the cornerstone sitting there, like you would really, really enjoy that bottle. Thank you, Sir Fisher, for sending Thank that you. in, buddy. Um, Everyone's gonna be like, These listen, are those are awesome sword picks. Yeah. yeah. I'm jealous. You got a lot of sword picks. These are very old, but it takes a long time to make these videos. So yeah. um, the next collection is Some Evan. Hats. Go ahead. Krim Midas. I, that's about how I'd say it, too. Nailed it. Krim Midas. Listen, to, dude, that. There's a lot. Woo! There's a lot. You got an old label Elijah Craig 18. That sexy something. Wait, you just yeah. Old Fitz decanter. We're mm -hmm. talking the Jim Beam Matt or uh, the distillers. Mm. Dude, his bottom shelf in the first picture has a Weller 12 on it. That's yeah. like the bottom shelf. Yeah. That's there's the there's a lot stuff. of stuff in there. Like it, it took me a while to go through all the stems to like yeah. okay, I know what that is. I think I know it's what that is. It's a lot is. of whiskey. Sure. But there's makers go. picks in there. I see yep. tags. Yep. You got some whistle picks, Murbreeds. You get like there's a culmination of all there's a shit ton a of bookers stuff. back there. Yeah. A little book. Because right, I almost said bookers at first. Mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of bookers. A lot of bookers. Um, some old foresters, stuff like that. Yep. In the second picture, we got some Jap Japanese. What I like yep. to call it. Japanese. He's got a book of 30th. 30th, yeah. That's like his shit. Yamazaki 18. Oh! Yamazaki, the pappy of the Yama. Yeah. I believe is what they call that. Maybe that's the 21, who knows. But you got some scotch. I see a lot of boom lamb. Yep. And I'm a fan. I think I, I would almost bet we have the same one for our cheap one. Guarantee we don't. Okay. Guarantee we don't. Old Forcer Rye. Did you? It was so close. It's too perfect. It because I, that's why I was looking through uh, labels, and that's why I knew there was a special reserve back there. Because I was looking for the, the cap, and you mm. can see the green cap. Honestly, I said nice proof. It's good 1792 right. bottom and bond. Um, I thought that there's a handful no of No 1792 in there. None. So you might as well start with one of our favorites. You got old foresters, and yeah. now, again, they're not the same before you leave that in the comments, but. Um, the the flavor profiles become similar between some of their yeah. products, so yep. it's worth checking out. Now do your splurge. Yeah, ah, I said Will it. Will, will it what? Will it Rye. He has those. Oh yeah, I'm not a Will it Rye in there. Uh, how sure are we? Pretty sure. Don't see a see single seven foil. Will it Rye in there? I see. Don't see all. a single foil in there. That's your the fifty the fifty dollar bottle of your splurge. It's hard to find for a lot of people. He's though. got a Logic eighteen old labels. He's got yep. old fifty the canners. Yep. Got a got a Georgie tag. What an old rip. Yeah. Your splurge is a fifty five dollar bottle. You need to buy it. Fifty five dollars. What was your splurge? Um, Blood Oath Pack Six. That's a pretty good splurge. Yeah. Recent drop. Should be hitting spaces soon. Okay. I'd pay anywhere from 100 to 120. Ugh. 120. I, I'm trying to think. 118. Hard cut. <laughs> After tax. Yeah. No. After. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that that's a pretty good bottle. I think that that was a good release this year, and I think mm -hmm. it was like an interesting release. Thank oh, you that's... for sending that collection, buddy. Um, cool. All right, so we just smashed the door outside. We're gonna end the episode with this collection. Oh, um, who you gonna do? I'm gonna pour something that we don't ever drink. Old Turkey 17. She's a delicious gal and a lover. Low proof, barrel proof, which is crazy. 
What's that, Brandy Cast? Okay, we're gonna end on this collection. This All is right. the last final finale. Yeah, let's do the damn thing. It's Chris Britton. HBR, huh? Most people might know him as Chris Britton. Wow. Others will know him as the hottest of the butteriest the rolls. rolls. Yeah. And if that doesn't make you hungry, then you um, are fat. I told Dan this is gonna be funny because I know how much his collection has grown. I know that he inherit didn't inherit. He inherited with money. <laughs> with, his money, buying. with his own money, he inherited a hell of a collection of whiskey. But Ugh. that being said, we're gonna go through his old collection before that stuff. I know that thing's got a bunch of dusties and stuff in it. So, yeah. Um, so uh, this these collections, which are a long time ago from him, are also still super solid. Pretty stout, yeah. yeah. Except so, for I gotta make fun of the fact that he's got all the basil. Why do you have so many? Basil all the basil Haydens. Do you, I, now here's the thing. He's got, he's even got the Caribbean rum. Yeah. He's got the two by two rum. He's got the 10, the normal and the pork. Yeah. What's, why? You know what? Glutton for punishment. Yeah. Yep. He likes to be punished. On the top shelf, got a bunch of High West, Willet and yep. ER 17. <laughs> yeah, just chilling amongst all the High West bottles. Just, uh, just wine bottle of ER 17. Clear the rest of that shelf off and just put the ER 17 up there. Itself, dude. Um, like <sighs> a bunch of mixers. Yeah. Even limited. Uh, Weller 12. Dude, he's the king of Weller. Yeah. Like, he's the king of Weller. That's the difference. Wellers? There's one OWA and one Weller 12. I know he's got cases of that shit sitting around. I there. know he's got cases of antique. And yeah. I know he's got at least two to seven WLWs. I know, you know what I know about this man is he is a dickle lover. Yeah. Uh, it's, there's some hiding over here. When we he met was... him, he was just, just chugging some dickle. There's some, oh my gosh. Someone's picture had dickle hiding in it. All of them. There's a store pick, yeah. there's cash strength, there's regular. Japanese on top, six. little scotch on top too. To Bowman that. port. Yeah. And the regular Bowman. Um, it might be single. But. Oh, that's small back. It's a solid collection. Like, this is pre too. This is pre yeah. the new collect. He literally added, and I'm not joking when I say this. He added, he can, he can tell you <laughs> how many bottles he obtained, but he added a collection to his collection. Yeah, half like, the hut, literally. Not Storage Lost Monarch from Redwood Empire. Hell yeah, dude. What is it? It's it, here it's 40 bucks. I think as a non-splurge, I didn't now, and I don't know if he has redwood right now. Not sure. If you don't have that, any of the redwoods, how about that? <clears throat> Larceny Bear Food. Decent at that. Had the entire line of makers sitting there. That's true. And that Larceny Bear Food. Yeah, had a all there was a regular Larceny sitting in the back. My splurge? Yeah. Gage yeah. Taylor Bear Food. Angels and Meat Cast Rate. Oh, I like that one actually. Um, um, because he had the both the other angels. He got the rum. He didn't have the old rose, so, but dude, the cast rate. Cast rate you can get, man. Yeah, and it's really it's good. It's a good one. And now I know it's two hundred dollars. It he also had, he had some fancy bottles in there. Though. I know it also. And I know he's got even fancier ones. It's so. one of the. Um, it's one of the best ones they make. It's one of the bottles that retails at two hundred. That's not above that on secondary, but I feel it's as close as like. There are a few bottles For worth value -wise, retail yeah, $200. That's the best thing you can get to it. Yeah, Chris, hot, buttery, sir, rolls. Thank think, you oh, for sending both those are good. Send your collection. Uh, thank you for doing that, buddy. Um, I know you got more by now. Maybe you probably oh, bought half the stuff we just recommended. Or both. Hope you're enjoying all. them, dude. We were probably right. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, but thank you guys for watching. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We'll run we'll in another one of these here someday again. Yeah. And uh, we'll keep probably going through your collections. Plus. If you <clears throat> want to send us your collection, I think we have 60 in waiting right now. If you yeah. want to send us one. I'm trying to do four in episode. Bourbonjunk at gmail.com. We need Facebook. pictures. Instagram. And then we'll do your collection someday. Bourbonjunk.com. Like, I almost said where the probe is in the floor. No, we're the junkies. <laughs> Dan's gone.